Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. An incredibly warm afternoon across the Tennessee Valley. Winds out of the south, slightly out of the south, and plenty of sunshine allowed temperatures to warm up into the upper 90s and even lower triple digits. We have seen our first triple digit day of the calendar year. That's very different from year to date. Remember, year to date, we were talking about 100 degree days last October. We have yet to see a 100 degree day in 2020. Muscle Shoals has done just that. They saw a high this afternoon of exactly 100 degrees and it still says the Muscle Shoals Florence area sitting at 100. Russellville Moulton sitting at 91 this evening. Athens and Decatur sitting at 96. Huntsville International currently sitting at 95. They saw a high this afternoon of 98 degrees where they have seen some rain across northeast Alabama. Scottsboro and Fort Payne have actually cooled off quite a bit sitting in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Heat indices at this hour still incredibly high 106 in Florence 99 Russellville and and Moulton 99 in Huntsville, Athens and Decatur right now talking about a heat index of 100 degrees. Don't really expect that to change too much in the coming days. We're really not going to see much fluctuation in our weather pattern through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Heat indices right around 105, maybe even 106 degrees. The National Weather Service office here in Huntsville has mentioned that they may go ahead with a heat advisory at least Tuesday and Wednesday, potentially as we head into Thursday. The criteria for a heat advisory is a heat index of at least 105 degrees. Temperatures through the week are going to hang out in the low and mid 90s. Some of us are going to be talking about the upper 90s. It's not a gradual warm up either. We warm up very quickly by 10 a.m. The lunch hour, we're already sitting in the mid and upper 80s, lower 90s. By the lunch hour, we're already talking about a heat index. 100 to at least 103 degrees. So keep a couple of your stereotypical heat safety tips in mind. Limit your time outdoors. When you are outdoors, wear your light colored clothing. No blacks, no purples, greens, oranges, things of that nature. Of course, stay hydrated. Plenty of water, no soft drinks, beer, any alcohol for that matter, or even Gatorade. It's got a lot of sugar in it. And when you do exercise, be sure to either exercise really early or really late. And as always, Check on pets and the elderly. Pinpoint Viper picking up on a couple of scattered showers still across northeast Alabama portions of Jackson and DeKalb counties. They're talking about a very impressive storm system across the Midwest, getting into Indiana, up into Michigan, up into Wisconsin, back into Illinois. It's coming with a lot of very heavy wind and some very heavy rain. They've also seen a few tornado warnings even across uh, the Chicago metro area. So here's future cast 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe a couple of scattered showers, scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to pop up through the heart of the afternoon. A lot of that activity is going to be diurnally driven. It does look like we dry out through the overnight. We stay dry early into Wednesday morning, but then once again through Wednesday afternoon, we're going to reintroduce that idea of some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and that's going to be a very common theme through a good majority of the work week. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to remain in the forecast, but it's not going to be a washout just because you didn't see any rain doesn't mean the forecast is wrong. Somebody else probably saw rain. Aside from that, temperatures hang out in the lower 90s. Let's look at your forecast.